Point Sienna is a pain in the butt for a couple of reasons. Um, first, it's cursed and blessed, depending on how you look at it, to have one of the most recognizable drum patterns in all of jazz. Uh, Vernel Fournier created that wonderful New Orleans inspired second line beat that everybody associates with the tune. Uh, and if you play it, you're not going to sound anywhere as good as he did. Uh, second, the tune is beautiful, but it's kind of deceptive. When you hear Ahmad Jamal plays, it's a thing of beauty. Um, but it's very easy to uh, underestimate what he's doing with it versus the composition itself, because if you play it, it just doesn't automatically go somewhere. Um, and uh, we did a, a version of this in the studio that we just were not happy with, and uh, we, we decided to kill it from the album. But then in a second session, uh, I had a couple of ideas, and we revisited it. I had been listening to a variety of Ahmad Jamal recordings of Point Sienna and realized suddenly he didn't play it the same way twice all the time. There were really light, delicate versions, and there were these big, roaring versions. He had uh, the classic version with Vernell, and then he had a drummerless version, and he had uh, slow versions and fast versions, and it suddenly occurred to me, my gosh, I should be thinking a little bit more creatively as well. So we experimented a little bit and uh, came up with the idea of doing it as a shuffle. Just a nice, easy, light, walk-along shuffle, and I really uh, thought it felt good. And the second idea was inspired by Charles Mingus. I've always loved the tune Self-Portrait in Three Colors, where with each passing chorus, one horn gets added until you've got these three horns uh, forming the three colors. So I thought, you know, it'd be interesting to maybe treat the solo section for the drums as a series of overdubs and do a layer of sticks and a layer of mallets and a layer of brushes. And so that's what we tried. And in the end, it is not at all a classic Ahmad Jamal take on Point Sienna. Uh, it's an experiment. Um, it's an Armado take on Point Sienna, and I'm pretty happy with it.